In the three-course model, the high school Living Earth course example explores the relationship between living and non-living components of the Earth system. The course goes in a cycle, starting at the biggest scale interactions, zooming into some of the smaller scale processes, and then zooming back out again. This approach mirrors the history of discovery in life science, with observations at the macro scale prompting scientists and students to zoom in and look for mechanisms. The course begins and ends with systems interaction in ecosystems. Students have been exploring the interplay between living things and their physical environment literally since kindergarten in the California Next Generation Science Standards. So this topic provides a strong foundation for introducing both life science and earth science topics. Ecosystems are also tangible and locally relevant to students, particularly when students investigate the role of humans in urban ecosystems. One of the most fundamental interactions between organisms and the Earth system is through the atmosphere. Students begin this instructional segment analyzing data showing how Earth's atmosphere has changed over its history. As they refine their models of photosynthesis and respiration, they can explain not only how matter and energy cycle through the ecosystem, but also how the evolution of living organisms has been responsible for big, broad changes in Earth's atmosphere. This transitions into the concept of evolution. At this stage in the course, students are interpreting the macroscopic evidence of evolution, not the mechanisms that drive it. Since so much of that original evidence of evolution came from fossils, students develop models for how fossils form as part of larger earth processes, including erosion and deposition. This gives students insight into the biases and gaps in the fossil record that may affect our understanding of evolution. Because plants and animals preserved in fossils give clues about ancient environments, fossils were also one of the most important early pieces of evidence of plate tectonics, and they record other global environmental changes. Students are now ready to zoom in and look at the mechanisms driving evolution in more detail. Students investigated classical genetics in middle school, and now they're refining their models to include a more sophisticated view of the probabilities and variations within populations, as well as the role that DNA plays in encoding those variations. In this instructional segment on structure and function cells to organisms, students finally get into the nuts and bolts of how cells work. They refine their models of how DNA encodes proteins, the role proteins play in helping cells accomplish their function, and how cells divide. The students also look at how specialized cells work together to create tissues and organs, and interact within systems and maintain homeostasis. Life science concepts do dominate this instructional segment, though students can apply their models of living systems to case studies of contamination and outbreak where they're predicting the impact of waterborne disease or toxicity, and those relate to the health of Earth's air and water. While students examine simple ecosystem interactions at the beginning of the course, now they're ready to loop back around and look at things from a more sophisticated perspective. How do ecosystems respond to changes? In this instructional segment, students apply their models of ecosystem interactions to predict how different ecosystems will respond to changes in Earth's climate. Students think about these changes from the perspective of a conservation biologist that designs solutions that, that minimize human impacts on ecosystems, and they will use simulations to predict the outcomes with and without those solutions. Zooming back out to look at the whole course, students have gone full circle. They've looked at living systems at a wide range of scale, examining processes from the perspective of both life and earth science, giving this title of the course of The Living Earth its full meaning.